All right, guys, welcome back. In this video, I want to introduce matrix multiplication. It works a little bit differently than matrix addition uh, because matrix addition was basically going through one element at a time and we take the same element from each matrix and we add them together to get the third. Um, matrix multiplication is a little bit different. It's actually a bit of a, a dot product between rows and columns. And so if we have two matrices, let's say we have matrix A, we want to multiply it to matrix B. Um, we're going to get the, the resulting matrix. Let's just call that matrix AB. All right. So if A is an M by N matrix and uh, B is an N by R matrix, um, basically this one has M rows and N columns. This one has N rows and R columns. Then we're going to get the product AB is going to be an M by R matrix. So really the key here is that the number of columns of matrix A, basically of the first matrix, has to be the same as the number of rows um, of the second matrix. And if it's not, then we can't multiply these matrices together. Uh, the other thing to notice is that the rows of the first matrix is going to give us the rows of the resulting matrix and the number of columns in the second matrix is going to give us the number of columns in the resulting matrix. So when we just look at the multiplication of two matrices, we'll know they're compatible for matrix multiplication if, yeah, if the, the number of columns in the first one is equal to the number of rows in the second, and then we'll be able to predict the size before we even do any calculations because we know that the resulting matrix will have the same number of rows as the first matrix and the same number of columns as the second matrix. Okay, so let's define uh, some sample matrices A and B. So matrix A has two rows and three columns and matrix B has three rows and two columns. So when we multiply these together, we have A times B. We're going to get the product AB. And uh, first we check for compatibility uh, that the number of columns of the first matrix is the same as the number of the rows in the second matrix, and yet we have those two equal to each other. So then we can predict the size of the, the resulting matrix, and uh, it's going to be uh, two by two because it'll have the number of rows from the first and the number of columns from the second. So it's a two by two matrix, it means it's going to have four elements. The top left element is going to be the dot product of the first row of the first matrix and the first column of the second matrix. And I think I'm actually going to change these subscripts to make it easier for us to trace this. So we'll get for the first element in uh, basically the top left entry, we have A11 times the first element here, B11, plus the second element, A12, times uh, the second element here, B21, plus the third element here, so A13, uh, times the third element down here, so we have times B31. So basically, this is the all of the elements in the first row times all of the elements in the second column, basically it performed like a dot product, and this is going to give us, once we work this out, this will give us the entry that is um, that has basically the, the ij numbers of 1, 1. It's the first row and the first column of the resulting matrix. All right, now to get the second, so to get the, the element that's in the first row and the second column, we take the first row again and the second column and we perform the dot product again. So this guy will be A11 times B12, right, coming from there. Then we take the second element, A12 plus A12 times the second element, B22, plus running out of space, but I think we can fit it, A13. I'm just going to stack it a13 dot or times b32. All right, so there we go. We've taken the dot product of the first row and the second column to get the element that's in the first row and second column of the resulting matrix. Okay, we do the exact same thing for the second row, first column. We come here, we take the second row and the first column, and we fill that in exactly in the same way. And then for the element that's in the second row in the second column, we take the second row dot the second column. And then we close off the matrix. Let's see if we can fit this in the screen, just like that. All right, so if we actually had numbers for each of these elements, then we could go ahead and finish off this and we would just be left with one single number for each entry. Uh, but this is kind of just a general case showing you that, yeah, we're basically taking the dot product of the column 
in the associated column and the associated row uh, to get the entries in the resulting matrix. All right, so now that we've got the general idea under our belts, let's set up an actual example with real numbers. So we look at this, we've got a two by three matrix times a three by three matrix. Uh, we check to make sure that the number of columns is the same as the number of rows from the first one to the second one. And that's good, they are the same, so we can proceed. So then when we look to predict what the size of the, the resulting matrix is going to be, it's going to be two rows and by three columns. So we can write that, it's going to be a two by three matrix. Okay, so when we set this up, it's going to be two by three. So we can just write this down here so we don't forget, two by three. Um, that basically means we have two rows and three columns. So for the element that's in the first row in the first column, it's the first row dot the first column. So that's going to be one times one plus two times four plus one times one. All right, the, the first row, second column is going to be the first row dot the second column. So we get one times two plus two times three plus one times one. All right, the third column, first row is going to be, so basically first row dot the third column. So we get one times three plus two times two plus one times two. All right, so that's gonna finish off all of the entries for the first column, I mean the first row. And then we can move down to the second row, first column. So we have second row dot first column. So we're going to have three times one plus four times four plus one times one. All right, so the next entry is second row, second column. So we get second row dot the second column. Um, so we're going to have three times two plus four four times three plus one times one. And then the last entry here, second row, third column. So we have second row dot the third column. We have three times three plus four times two plus one times two. All right, so now the only thing that we need to do is just simplify these to get the actual answer. So we can just go through one at a time. We're gonna have one plus eight plus one. That's gonna give us 10. And then if you just simplify each of these, we're going to get uh, the next entry is going to be nine. The next one is nine. And then down in the bottom, we're gonna get 20, 19, and 19. So this is the two by three matrix that we get when we multiply A times B.